Hello everyone, welcome to the YouTube channel of Tribunet. My name is Manoj. Today in this video, let us understand about pinon disc tribometer. What is pinon disc test? Friction and wear, typically wear rates and wear resistance, characterization of materials is typically performed using various types of tribometers, while pinon disc test being probably one of the most commonly used. The popularity of this method is due to the relative simplicity and abundance of the tribological contacts that can be well described by a simple pin on disc motion. From dry contacts of bolt screws to rail wheels to rail contact and to lubricated contact of biological implants, the test typically allows to test several mo motion modes such as unidirectional, fretting modes and recently any other complex motion patterns. Here in this figure, we can see the schematic representation of pinon disc test. How does pinon disc tribometer work? The stationary pin is pressed against rotating disc under the given load. The pin can be any shape, however, the most popular shapes are spherical, ball or lens or cylindrical due to the ease of alignment of such pins. Flat pins are typically subject to certain misalignment which can lead to non-uniform loading and difficulties for theoretical analysis. During the test, the friction force, wear and temperature are continuously monitored. At the start of the test, the measured coefficient of friction is high with the further progress drops. This behavior is typically friction measurements and is attributed to running in phenomena. During the running in, the surface topography changes, chemical reactions takes place until the system comes to steady state. This steady state coefficient of friction is then usually reported. Here in this figure we can see the working of the pinon disc. What are the important factors that we have to consider during the pinon disc test? Pin shape. Typically, the pin can be of any shape. Ball on disc test uses a ball pin or a lens. Flat pin or chip shaped pins can also be used. Pin alignment. If the pin is flat ended, the alignment should be ensured. Since otherwise, non uniform loading occurs, resulting in non uniform wear and possibly overloading conditions. The edges of the flat specimens should not be sharp, otherwise, the chipping may occur. Here we can see the schematic representation of pin size and alignment. What are the other factors? Pin material. The choice of the pin material is very important. It should be noted that Typically, the tribological behavior of the same pair material is different depending on which material is used for pin and which material is used for disc. This is specifically true for the case of the contact between soft and hard materials. This difference comes from the fact that the wear occurs mainly on the softer material. Pin location. It is possible to place a pin on the top of the disc. However, in many cases, the pin is pressed against the disc from the bottom. It is typically done to avoid getting the wear particles down uh, back into the contact once they are formed or to collect the wear particles from the further analysis. Due to the gravity, the wear particles will be falling down. Here we can see the different pinon disc test. Why does the pinon disc test important? Currently, there is a trend to reduce the size of the machine elements, increase power, reduce maintenance and improve reliability. These requirements push the design limits and require innovative solution. Testing the solutions on a scale of a full machine would be too expensive but also time consuming. Therefore, the universal experimental setups are often used to perform the tribological research on prototyping phase prior to full scale test. These are the references for the information provided in this video. In this video, we studied what is pinon disc test, what are the major factors that has to be considered during pinon disc test, how does the pinon disc test work, and also why do we do the pinon disc test. Thank you for watching this video. To get more details on the topics related to tribology, follow us on our social media pages on Instagram, Facebook, LinkedIn, and do not forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel Tribunet. Also visit our website on www.tribunet.org.